goes on in the classroom may contribute to a cure for diseases like autism and Alzheimer's. At least that is the mindset at one New Jersey university. Lisa Wojtyki reports. What happens in this petri dish could lead to a cure for autism. We're trying to understand um, how neurons talk to each other and then what can go wrong in neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, schizophrenia, autism. Dr. Jamie Weiss is an assistant professor of biology at William Patterson University. She and junior Michael Gonzalez are regrowing the DNA for a molecule found in patients with autism. In the next few days, Gonzalez will insert the DNA into new cells to try to understand what goes wrong when the nerve cells communicate. In a lot of these disorders such as autism, um, there's some evidence that nerve cells are not talking to each other properly and when they don't talk to each other properly, sometimes they don't get used. And here at William Patterson <laughs> University, graduate and undergraduate students are working together, hoping for the same results. Maybe 10, 20 years down the line, we're hoping that we can find a new drug target and perhaps NCS1, this molecule that we're working on, might be a novel target to treat these disorders. Gonzalez studies nursing but researches with Weiss to better understand things from a clinical and diagnostic standpoint. When you order a test or something done, uh, this shows you the actual experiments behind the test. For instance, from this research study, he's seen firsthand that brain cells need calcium to communicate. There's evidence that if brain cells don't talk to each other, they die. Mostly it's learning, though. You get an incredible experience out of this. When the students conclude their research, Weiss plans to have the findings published in major medical journals. Reporting at William Patterson University in Wayne, New Jersey, I'm Lisa Wojtyki for WMBC News.